on a winter's night in December 1978, 18 farmers in Xiaogang village, Fengyang County, reached a contract. He read, we will distribute land to every household and they will sign and apply their seal. Each household will work to fulfill their annual public grant quota and will no longer seek state assistance. If this does not work, we officials are willing to face prison or death. In that event, cooperative members please raise our children until they reach the age of 18. At the time, they didn't expect that their action could herald a reform that would change the fate of hundreds of millions of Chinese farmers. Xiaogang Village in Anhui Province, Fengyang County, was once known for its reliance on resold public grain, financial aid, and production materials purchased with loans. Things were very different after the 18 farmers launched their all-round contract. From what they managed to grow, they were able to hand over their quota, save some for the collective, and keep anything that was left for themselves. The heart of rural reform is the land. China's land ownership was a socialist public ownership, a mix of public and peasant collective ownership. This gave rise to a contract responsibility system based on joint production, which featured a farmer's production responsibility component. It incentivized the farmers and stimulated rural areas. It also boosted production and brought profound changes to rural China. It represented a major breakthrough in China's opening up. Since 1979, a succession of rural enterprises has emerged. In 1987, the output value of China's rural enterprises accounted for 50.4% of the total in the countryside. It surpassed agricultural output for the first time, which marked a historic change for China's rural economy. Agriculture is the foundation and the industry is the path to wealth. Rural enterprises were another great creation by China's farmers following the household contract responsibility system. With rural reform in full swing, attention turned to the country's cities. On July 20, 1979, a rumbling sound was heard in Shekou district of Shenzhen land was being reclaimed and docks built. Skyscrapers rose at the rate of one floor every two and a half days. The Shenzhen speed achieved legendary status. The slogan, time is money, efficiency is life spread, inspiring people across the country. Our